Hi, in this video, I'm going to introduce you to the uh, log config module so that uh, we can uh, use the API to change the log level on the target server. Also, we can get the log from the target server through APIs. This logger config module is in the F4G uh, project. And let me show you the specification first. So we are using this uh, uh, open API inject uh, YAML file to automatically inject this logger uh, config uh, endpoint. There are three endpoints. One is uh, slash ADM, uh, ADM slash logger and the get request. This will get all the logger settings, all the loggers with uh, this as level on the server. And the post is to change the log, uh, the log logger level or adding new logger. So you can see we accept uh, uh, an array with a name, which is a logger name, and the level, which is uh, will be debug trace uh, info arrow. And also we have another endpoint slash EDM slash logger slash content is a get request. So this one will get uh, logs from the server uh, through API. Uh, in terms of the configuration, we have uh, this in the gateway. I'm using gateway for uh, as, a, as, as an example. So if you look at the gateway handler.yaml, we didn't handler.yaml. We have uh, the endpoint defined for the logger. So we have this uh, slash ADM slash uh, logger is get request and slash ADM slash logger post request and slash ADM slash logger content. There's three handlers map to those after the admin uh, default chain. So for those handlers, it's defined in the vital.yaml. So within the uh, vital.yaml, you can see we have this get logger, post logger, and get log contents. So those are the three handlers here uh, defined in the uh, handlers section. So that's the configuration. We also have a, a logger configuration itself for this particular module. You can enable this module or also set up the log start time. That's the default start time if you don't specify the timestamp when you get the logs. In order to run this, uh, to access those endpoint from a postman or a curl command, uh, on this gateway instance, I'm doing something like this, skip uh, slash ADM so that I can access those endpoints without providing a GW token. If you, if you want to use this in your application, like uh, you can use a uh, Life4G generator, the generator automatically add those endpoints, or you can add dependency and the configuration yourself. The dependency will be logger uh, config. It's part of the Life4G repository. It's one of the modules. So let's do some testing, like for the logger uh, itself. Let's bring in this uh, postman. So first, before we do any testing, let me show you the current configuration for the logger. So we have standout, it's info, and also we have audit info. This particular uh, com network entity trace logging level is already coming out. And this is how the server works. So you can see on the server, you have info and that's that's it. You don't have any debug or trace information. If we go to this uh, again, let's send the past, past, uh, past store request. You can see we only have info, info output from uh, 
from this uh, this application access. That's it. That's the info. Let's first get all the loggers. This is the endpoint to get all loggers. You will access ADM logger. And when I do this send, I can you can see I got two loggers here. One is root, is info, and the other one is name is uh, audit and is info. So that's how we got this. And if I want to uh, set the post logger, let's say set logging level for uh, common network T, like as trace, you can see how I do that. I create a post request. It's a slash ADM slash logger. And the body will be a raw JSON, and I have a array. Within this array, I have a, this object. This is one logger, it's named level. Name is a common network T, and the level is trace. So if I do the send, you can see I got the return is same like a name level. But at this time, if I come here, I do another get, you can see I have a new logger that's called network T trace. And from this moment on, you can see we, we start seeing debug and the trace information output from uh, the server. Now, let's send another pastor request. You can see we got the trace information output. So that meaning we are creating a common network T a trace a logger on the, on the target server automatically through the API access.